Good morning, everybody. I think it's time to get started. So if you can take your seats. Uh, we are running a bit late. I uh, apologize for the delay. But uh, hopefully, it's going to be a great day. So uh, I'll just give like a couple of minutes for people to settle. Um, and then we'll take it from there. Uh, welcome to Facebook. And uh, welcome to the first edition of West Coast NLP Summit. So we use VC NLP uh, in a dual way. So it's West Coast NLP, but also it's VC NLP. Kind of funny, we thought, but we'll take it from there. Um, so my name is Fazl. Um, I am leading the language and translation technologies group at Facebook AI. And I am super happy to be, host, uh, to be your host today. Uh, on behalf of several of my colleagues uh, who helped organize this event, I'd like to welcome all of you to our new uh, building and to our new event center. So this is pretty new, and I mean that. So I, I was told this is only the fourth event that we held here. So it's like pretty exciting. Uh, I think it's a great building, and uh, I hope you'll enjoy your day here. Um, so um, why are we having another summit? Uh, I think that's like one of the questions that was asked. Uh, so there's a lot going on in the NLP world. There are lots of advancements in various fields of the natural language processing. Um, and um, it's becoming harder and harder to keep track of like, what's going on elsewhere. So we had an internal version of this kind of uh, meeting uh, last year. And we realized that it was actually a great opportunity to bring people from like, various places so that they can meet and chat, they can share their experiences, and they can learn from each other. And we thought, why not do this across the companies, so that uh, across different organizations, so that we can actually learn from each other, uh, bringing people from different uh, companies and universities and research labs and etc. So um, uh, the idea here is like to meet and chat, to share experiences and learn from each other. Uh, there are going to be a lot of breaks, and there are going to be lots of uh, happy hour and poster sessions later. So hopefully, we are going to have a chance to get uh, mingle uh, along the way. Uh, I'd like to emphasize that this is not really a Facebook organized event. Uh, our program committee actually includes 30 plus people from eight different organizations. And without their amazing contributions, this event wouldn't have been possible. And we would like to keep like several versions of this summit. So hopefully, more of you are going to participate in organizing like the future editions of this conference. And we are going to have more and more of these. Uh, Having said that, I also would like to thank four uh, individuals for their extraordinary efforts and contributions to make all the local arrangements and to actually make this happen uh, today. Um, so Alessa, Juan, Chris, and Rebecca put like an enormous amount of time into organizing this event and making this happen. So I'd like to take a moment and thank all of them. So quick snapshot of today. Uh, it's going to be a long day, but hopefully it's going to be like a super exciting day. We are going to have 14 invited talks, and I'm going to talk briefly about them in a second. Uh, we are going to have 10 lightning talks. And uh, towards the end of the day, we are going to have a poster session and a happy hour session where we have 32 posters. So our invited speakers, uh, uh, we, I said we had 14. Uh, so we are going to start with Luke kicking it off uh, with his talk on labeling and uh, predicting semantic roles directly from text. Then Yulia is going to talk about language generation with continuous outputs. Noam is going to talk about uh, his work on neural language models. And then Kevin is going to uh, describe his work on deciphering historical manuscript images. Uh, in the second session, uh, Hoi Fung is going to talk about machine reading for precision medicine. And Gil is going to talk about NLP plus genomics. And uh, the final talk of the morning session is by Alona. And she's going to talk about using semantic models to understand CNN representations. The afternoon session, uh, we are going to start with dialogue. Uh, and Sonal and Anusha uh, are going to talk about language understanding and generation in task-oriented dialogue systems. He is going to talk about learning strategic dialogue agents. And Dilek is going to give a talk about dialogue context modeling in multi-domain conversational agents. Uh, we are going to have a break. And then William is going to talk about building socially responsible NLP. Kai Wei is going to give a talk about reducing social bias amplification in natural language processing. 
and we are gonna close it up by Liang giving a talk on simultaneous transition and computational biology. Uh, and there are lots of lightning talks uh, scattered throughout the day, so again, it's gonna be like, a, it's gonna be a good day. Uh, so let me give you like a brief introduction of how we are actually using language processing at Facebook just to uh, kick off the day. I'd like to talk briefly about how language processing is powering several Facebook products. There are many, many of them, so I cannot talk about every one of them, so I'm just gonna like pick you know, a few and then uh, talk briefly about that. Uh, Facebook's mission is to give people the power to build community and bring the world closer together. And that essentially means bringing people together from different cultures, from different regions, and uh, people speaking different languages. Uh, that essentially means we have to do something about language. We have to understand the language so that we can actually bring those people together. Uh, the idea is that we don't want language to be a barrier uh, and dictate how people share their thoughts or feelings, etc. We really care about providing the same experience in all languages and we care about building multilingual experiences. So we are applying language processing in a lot of places uh, at the moment at Facebook. So one application is the machine translation. It's one of the biggest NLP applications at Facebook right now. It is the primary way uh, people engage with content in a language that they don't understand. Uh, we provide machine translation on several platforms that we own right now, so that includes Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, and Workplace. Uh, our backend systems, uh, which are all based on neural machine translation, uh, power almost six billion translations a day, and it's playing like a critical role in a lot of places internally as well, so it's not just like about using translation for the external uses, but it's also helping us address several language understanding uh, challenges across Facebook. Um, one of our goals is using natural language processing to build a social infrastructure, to build that global community that I talked about earlier. So we have been investing in language understanding technologies that help us understand the intent in a given post and then give the right type of experience to users. So blood donation is a good example of that, uh, which like this is something that I'm really proud of. There are thousands of posts on Facebook every day uh, with people looking for donations for their, uh, blood donations for their loved ones. And uh, we now have a product that can identify the blood intent and connect people uh, to other people who opted in uh, for blood donations. And this experience is available in multiple languages. It's actually helping a lot of people as we speak. Suicide prevention is another example. And um, this is obviously a more sensitive uh, application and it's a much more challenging problem. It is the second leading cause of death in the uh, United States among young people. And mental health experts say, you know, friends and family are the most important ones uh, that actually prevent uh, suicide. So our goal with this particular product is to identify those signals early enough so we can help uh, connect people uh, to a person uh, who can support them. And once again, this is an experience that's available in multiple languages. Um, as I mentioned uh, before, we use language technologies not just on Facebook, but like across different ecosystems. Messenger is a good one. Uh, here you see M Suggestions, uh, the assistant in Messenger, trying to help you have better conversations with your friends. Uh, some examples include, you know, uh, organizing social events, ordering food, or just send, you know, funny stickers. Our latest edition that we announced like very recently is the uh, M Suggestions or M Translations. Uh, to do machine translation. So when we think that the translation can be useful in enabling a conversation between two people speaking different languages, uh, M Suggestions now offers the options to translate the content. And this experience is available again like in multiple languages and we are expanding the coverage as we go along. Um, one final thing is uh, the Instagram. Uh, Instagram is the other ecosystem where we use language understanding. And uh, as you can imagine, like as in every other platform, there are bad actors and there are bad content. And one of our top priorities is to keep the site clean. Uh, so we want to remove spam and bad content. And we use language understanding technologies to identify bad content and remove them to give a clean user experience uh, uh, to everybody who is engaging with that content. So um, as I said, there are many of those and I'm just gonna stop here. Uh, we come a long way, but there are like still lots of challenges that we need to address. Uh, the first one is the diversity of the problems that we are trying to address. And all these uh, problems like hate speech, misinformation, engagement bait, and you know, trolling, like they all require different types of um, 
uh, knowledge and different types of solutions uh, for the particular challenges that they are posing. So we have to you know, uh, deal with you know, a variety of problems and come up with like a variety of solutions that address the subtleties of those problems. Uh, robustness is a, is a super important issue, uh, especially on Facebook, when we have like really a dynamic and informal language with slangs, typos, out of vocabulary words that are being made up every day. And there's also the adversarial attacks. So we need to make sure that our systems are actually robust. Uh, context is, is an important one. We need to understand not just the text that we are working on, but it's also the text around that content. Uh, and all types of uh, content, not just the text, by the way. It's like images, videos around everything. And then we also have to understand the user, uh, because like, the, the meaning of like, a given sentence depends on who is saying it as well. Uh, as I said before, we need to make all these understanding technologies work for several languages. So it's not just the English where we invest in a lot. Uh, it's enabling the same technology for all the languages. And finally, um, again, uh, unfortunately, we are not doing this just for English. So, uh, and for lots of languages, we don't have enough data. So low resource is a big problem. Uh, we don't have either labeled data or we don't have data at all. So uh, making these technologies work for all types of languages with all types of resources, that's a, that's a problem. Uh, so I know that like most of us like, are going through like, similar challenges in their work, and the idea essentially today is for us to talk to each other and learn about our challenges and about our solutions to the same types of problems.